guys, so I want to do an updated video on the skincare routine. Several months ago, I did this video using uh, distilled white vinegar. I still use that product along with something a little extra that I want to show you today. Um, for those of you who have um, acne breakouts, uh, discoloration in the skin from the sun or sunspots or any kind of like skin um, scars like from surgeries or anything like that, if you want to lighten that up or get rid of the acne, I am, I really recommend distilled white vinegar. Now, I know y'all are probably thinking, oh my God, that's disgusting. That stuff smells horrible. But once you wash your face with it and then you rinse it off, um, you don't smell that vinegar anymore. So, um, I'll show you this jug that I got. I got this huge jug from Walmart. And it was just a little over $2, which is great. And it lasts a long time. And I also got these jumbo cotton balls. I got them from Walmart too, and they were inexpensive. And the way that I wash my face with this stuff is um, I wear tons of makeup. Well, not that much, but I do wear a lot of makeup. And I like to wash my face with um, a Dove bar soap. Now that's also dermatologist recommended. It doesn't leave um, a nasty film on your face. So I wash my face with the soap, um, dry my skin, then I take about three to four of these jumbo cotton balls. And I just open the lid, which I'm not going to do right now because I do not want to smell the vinegar. And I just put the cotton balls on top and then I just dip it, the jug. And then I get these um, saturated. And then I just use circular motions all over my face to wipe my face with this stuff. And then I let it sit for about a minute or as long as I can stand the smell. And then I rinse my face off with um, cold water and dry it. And then you won't smell the vinegar anymore as well. Um, the reason why I use distilled white vinegar is because it has um, a similar chemical component as a glycolic pill that you get at the dermatologist. Um, it's a little less um, strong, I guess you can say, or abrasive. Um, but I can use it every day instead of, like, you can't get a glycolic pill constantly. But um, I do use this vinegar at least, I would say once at night and once in the morning. Most of the time I use it at night though. Um, another thing that I recently got or I use quite often is the Oxy um, generic or the generic brand of Oxy um, made by Equate brand. It's the um, spot treatment and it's got benzoyl peroxide in it. Um, this stuff is really great. Um, I use it whenever I get a pimple or something. I just put it on top. It seeps through your skin and it dries in kills the bacteria and dries the pimple out so you're not getting um, a whole lot of scars you don't have to worry about picking your face or anything like that um, the one thing about the stuff and let me go ahead and show you this is what the bottle looks like and it actually comes in like a little tiny box and the bottles inside and this is a little over a dollar I think it's a dollar ninety eight and I got it from Walmart too now whenever you apply this stuff I usually apply it at night uh, make sure you're sleeping on a white pillow and then for you ladies with long hair put your hair up because this stuff can um, bleach and stain and so it will bleach like pre pillow covers and stuff so you don't want to you don't want to ruin anything with this stuff but anyways that is my um, skincare routine it's not a whole lot um, it's distilled white vinegar um, dove I use for washing um, my makeup off and then this equate version of oxy spot treatment and all of it I would say is about maybe five dollars all together but it really does work well for those of you who do have um, skin issues with um, acne breakouts and um, sunspots I really recommend it it does um, it does lighten the skin and it does get rid of pimples definitely the distilled white vinegar does that um, for those of you who have subscribed to me, thank you for subscribing. It means the world to me. And those of you who are watching my video, I really appreciate your views. And um, next time around, I am going to um, talk about whitening the teeth for inexpensive. Um, instead of getting the whitening strips, I know those can be really expensive. And especially if you go to the dentist to have it done, it's just outrageous. So there is an easier way to do it. And um, I a way that's not um, dangerous either. So um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you all again. Bye!